Whatever knee is on the ground, that's gonna be the adductor longus that we're stretching. We wanna start by going into medial rotation of the femur by taking the ankle outside of the knee. Then we're gonna go into extension of the femur by dragging the pelvis forward. We wanna maintain a retroversion of the pelvis, flat lumbar spine, flat thoracic, your chin is tucked in, the crown of that is pushing up toward the sky. You're Hey everyone, Steven here with Team Fork, and this week's YouTube Shorts are dedicated to the adductor longus muscle. And as with all of the adductor muscles, one of the actions of the adductor longus is going to be antiversion of the pelvis or an anterior pelvic tilt. And that's going to be very important when it comes to managing something like low back pain, because if you recall from earlier videos, the reason most people develop low back pain is due to dysfunction in the lumbo-pelvifemoral complex, basically where the lumbar spine meets the pelvis meets the femur. And one of the postural faults that's going to be very common is excessive antiversion of the pelvis. In men, four to seven degrees of antiversion is gonna be acceptable, and for women, seven to 11. When it goes beyond that, that's going to be considered dysfunctional. And because the adductor longus is responsible for antiversion of the pelvis, when that muscle gets really, really tight, what's gonna happen is it's going to pull the pelvis into more antiversion, which can exacerbate symptoms of low back pain. So what we would wanna to do to address that would be to do some myofascial stretching exercises for the adductor longus. There's only two bones that we need to be covering, and that's going to be the pelvis and the femur. Right over here is your pelvis, and most inferior and medial is going to be the pubic symphysis, and then just lateral and most anterior to that is going to be the anterior body of the pubis. Next, that's it in terms of the pelvis. We want to take a look at the femur now. This is the femur or your thigh bone, and with regard to the femur, posterior and medially, right over here we have the linea aspera, and then on the medial aspect we have the medial lip of the linea aspera, but that's pretty much it in terms of the important bony landmarks when discussing the adductor longus muscle. The adductor longus attaches from the anterior body of the pubis to the middle third of the linea spera at the medial lip. And because it crosses both the pelvis and the femur, we know it's going to have actions at both of those areas. At the pelvis, its main action is going to be antiversion of the pelvis or an anterior pelvic tilt. And then that's its main action. It's also going to be responsible for ipsilateral elevation, so elevation to the same side, and also ipsilateral rotation, so rotation to the same side. Then at the femur, its main action is going to be adduction, so bringing the thigh toward the midline, and it's also going to be responsible for flexion. And then one of its lesser actions with the femur is going to be medial rotation, so rotating the thigh in toward the midline. But that's it in terms of the actions of the adductor longus muscle. The adductor longus is innervated by the obturator nerve, and more specifically your L2, L3, and L4 nerve roots. And the reason that's going to be very important is because if you have any type of damage or compression to those nerve roots, then the nerves will not be able to send the proper signal to the adductor longus, which in turn will limit blood flow and oxygen to that area. So what we can do to address that would be to do some aldoa exercises for those nerve roots, because the whole purpose of an aldoa is to create space within a joint. So if we create space within the joint, then that can improve the function of the nerve roots, and then in turn, that will allow the nerves to send the proper signal to the adductor longus muscle, which will allow proper blood flow and oxygen in that area. We're going to be taking you through three strengthening exercises for the adductor longus. The first one's going to be for the distal fibers. We're going to be in a side leg position. Use your arm as a pillow. Rest your head on there with the contralateral leg. We're going to go to the external rotation and abduction. Find your foot firmly on the floor with the ipsilateral lateral leg. 45 degree flexion of the femur. Slight bend of the knee. Dorsiflexion of ankle. Inversion of ankle. Medial rotation of the femur with the palm flat on the floor. Raise the elbow to the scapular girdle. Principle of action. We're going from medial to lateral rotation on an abduction. And that is for the distal fibers. For the middle fibers, we're going to go ahead and be in a seated position and we want to be supported on our elbows. Contralateral leg is going to be in flexion of the hip and knee. Then with the ipsilateral leg, we're going to go into maximum external rotation of the femur, and we also want the heat femur flexed to 70 degrees. Principle of action, we're going on an adduction from external to internal rotation, and that is for the middle fibers. Then, for the proximal fibers, we're going to go ahead and get into a half kneeling position, so as though you're in the bottom position of a lunge. We want the contralateral knee in line with the ipsilateral foot, and then maximum extension of open wrist, maximum external rotation. For this one, principle of action, we're doing an isometric contraction by driving the knee toward the heel, and this is for the proximal fibers. Those were the strengthening exercises for the adductor longus muscle. We're going to be taking you through a myofascial stretching exercise for the adductor longus core. We're going to be in a half kneeling position, and whatever knee is on the ground, that's going to be the adductor longus that we're stretching. We want to start by going into medial rotation of the femur by taking the ankle outside of the knee. Then we're going to go into extension of the femur by dragging the pelvis forward. We want to maintain a retroversion of the pelvis, flat lumbar spine, flat thoracic, your chin is tucked in, the crown of that is pushing up toward the sky. Your eyes are looking down at the floor to put the dura mater under tension with the arms, maximum extension of elbow and wrist, maximum external rotation of the shoulder, project the palm forward. Then with the contralateral leg, we want to go ahead and abduct 45 degrees and place the foot outside. And then the principle of action, what we want to do is we're going to drive our knee forward on a 45 degree angle to get maximum myofascial tension on the adductor longus that we are stretching. And this is the myofascial stretching exercise for the adductor longus. We take you through two elbow exercises for the adductor longus. And the first one is going to be the L3, L4, L4. You're going to be in a seated position and you want your heels together. You're going to flex your knees to 90 degrees. Then you want to go into dorsiflexion of angle, eversion of angle, drive your knees down toward the floor. You want just enough space that your heels are not touching. Next, 
retro version of pelvis, flat lumbar, flat thoracic chin, tight crown, and hot up ice, looking down at the forks with the matter under tension with the arms, maximum extension of one wrist, maximum external rotation of shoulders, flex your shoulders on level coronal plates, and biceps in line with the ears, up with the palms, up with the crown of the head, down with the knees. And that was the L3, L4, L doa. Next, the L2, L3, L doa. For this one, you want straight legs. You want to abduct your femurs to 45 degrees, maximum extension of knees, dorsiflexion of ankle, inversion of ankle, medial rotation of femurs, retro version of pelvis, flat lumbar, flat thoracic chin, tight crown, and head up ice, looking down at the forks with the dura matter under tension with the arms, maximum extension of elbow and wrist, maximum external rotation of shoulders, flex shoulders to level of chrome, things are biceps in line with the ear, up with the palms, up with the crown of the head, and this is the L2, L3, L doa.